everyone, happy Halloween. Welcome to Duck of Arts Facebook Live. My name is Pla Schneider. And I'm Alexandra Hawkins. And today I'm making this really cute project. And what I really like about it, this jack-o'-lantern here, is it can take you from Halloween through the fall. For example, up until today, because today's Halloween, you can have this little guy on your mantle and he's a cute jack-o'-lantern. And then come tomorrow, just flip it over and you have a super cute pumpkin. So I'm gonna walk you through the process. Uh, yes, yeah, so, sorry, real quick, I wanted to let everybody know we are doing a $100 online store credit today. We are giving it away during the Facebook Live. So while you are watching, comment, let us know where you're tuning in from. Um, and yeah, hope you guys are the winner. Good luck everyone, so yeah, stay tuned. So the first thing I did is base coated this globe with my favorite metallic paint. This has the highest sheen out of um, all of the metallics that we have. It's extreme sheen, this one is copper. So I already base coated this with copper and it's dry. The next step is to take the same product, extreme sheen, this time in rose gold. And I'm just adding highlights uh, vertically all the way across so you can get that uh, you know, pumpkin look and some dimension here, a little bit of highlight. So for the base, I used, you know, a larger brush. For this part, I'm using a medium, a, a three quarter inch flat brush, works well. But you could use any size globe you'd like. I'm having a hard time finding our video. Sorry, I want to make sure that I'm able to talk to everyone. Okay, so I'm just going to spin it around. <laughs> and I'm going to add one more. Remember everyone, if you're just tuning in, comment, let us know where you're from, and you will be automatically entered to win $100 store credit on our awesome DecoArt website. So as you can see, this goes pretty quickly. So t earlier today, I was called a cat. In case you're wondering, I'm actually a bear. If you're dressing up today, let us know what you're dressing up as. There we go. Yay, hi everyone. Yay, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, Jill. Good morning. Hello from North Carolina. Thank you for tuning in. Lori Hubank says she loves that color. Thank it is you. really pretty. Happy Halloween, everyone. Oh, we're freezing in Prosper, Texas. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We've got a lot of rain going on here. They even moved our trick-or-treat day to Saturday. Which <laughs> I kind of love because we get extra Halloween days, so I'm not too mad about it. It's I'm celebrating right. both days. Okay, so Alex has a project that she's going to show you. I'm just going to keep going all the way around. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about um, a fall to, or sorry, Halloween to fall reversible sign. So I'm going to talk about our clear chalkboard coating. This will turn any paint project that you do into a chalkboard um, for you to, you know, use. So, and with the rain today, it's got me thinking a lot about like making a cute little chalkboard table for kids or something so they can play inside and still kind of have that fun. Um, so this has already been painted with the chalkboard coating and I did one coat in one direction and then I waited an hour and I did another coat in the other direction. And I only did it on the moon because that's where I'm gonna be doing my chalk. And so after it's done and it's cured for 24 hours, we wanna prime the surface with just a little bit of chalk. So we're just gonna lightly throw a little bit down on there. And then we'll smooth it in. And that just makes sure that it's ready to pick up that chalk later on. Hello. Can you see it? Yeah. All right, so there's that. And then you guys voted on a color palette for the other side, for our fall side. And this was the winner. These are all the Americana projects, or colors that come with in that line. So it's a really earthy palette, kind of like reminds me of succulents and stuff. Um, and then, then on this one, the chalkboard coating would go on the pumpkin. And I guess tomorrow you would flip it around and you'd say 28 days until harvest. Yeah, I can't believe it's already Halloween. So yeah. le let's say hello to Mary. You love the colors. Awesome. Lori, happy Halloween to you. And you are watching us in Tennessee. 
hi, Emily. I think we know you. <laughs> and I think you're in Lexington. Um, Karen, so happy that you're here. Stephanie, happy Halloween to you. Stephanie, you're in Kentucky. Where in Kentucky? <laughs> so happy Halloween to everyone and good luck. Oh, and real quick, I wanted to mention that for these signs, um, it can be a little intimidating. So d feel free to like look online and stock images. This is actually um, an image from iStock and it was originally facing the other way, but then we just flipped it because um, I wanted the witch to be flying the other way. And then I used transfer paper to just transfer it over. And I did the same with the pumpkins and the leaves. I just did generic pumpkin and leaf shapes. And then, so you can use that as your outline and then you can go back in and add your little details to your leaves and stuff like that. So it just makes it a little bit easier on you, a little bit less intimidating, a little more fun. So just keep that in mind when you guys are making projects that, you know, if you're if you're running across something and you don't know what to do, just look out there for some free resources um, or for things you can buy. Yes, absolutely. And um, I always put my patterns and designs on decoart.com. For example, I made this jack-o'-lantern face and see how easy it is to just print it cut it out, get some transfer paper, and a pencil or pen and just trace it. So again, I'm gonna continue walking um, you through the steps of how to create this cute jack-o'-lantern. The next step is, as you can see, I did the rose gold all the way around. Now I'm taking Extreme Sheen again in this beautiful peridot color. And this is my favorite color in Extreme Sheen. This is a really pretty color. I think that's one of our new colors, or is that an older one? It is a newer color, and it happens to be um, my birthstone. I, I just love green. But as you can see, the contrast between the copper and the rose gold with the green is super, super pretty. And I'm not going to go for a complete solid coverage here because I want some of the metal to show through and for it to look, you know, just a little bit distressed. So I'm not loading my brush. Um, I'm loading my brush very lightly and I'm brushing the paint on very light as well. Hey, Laura, thanks for tuning in. Oh yeah, it is a lot of fun to do it until Santa comes. Yeah, that's another great idea. You can do a fall to Christmas um, reversible. And we may have something like that coming your way, so stay tuned for that. Absolutely, how fun is it to have one project that can take you from you know one holiday to the next? Yeah, I feel like the holidays come around so quickly that you you know you get to stick it out for like maybe a week and then it's just gone. For those of you just tuning in, remember to comment, let us know where you're watching us from, and you will be automatically entered to win $100 store credit. So you can pick up some of these deco art products that you're seeing here, like this Extreme Sheen, or it's a great way to start your deco art paint collection, that's for sure. Laura, you said you've got a globe that needs some help. I'm so curious to see what it is that you're needing. Maybe this Duraclear could be a solution for you. Okay, so, you know, I would go all the way around and finish the base. The next thing is I just pulled these leaves off of um, faux flowers and I want them to match the metallic globe. So I'm just gonna dry brush lightly Hey, Rosemary, thanks for joining us. A little us. bit of the metallic. So now, you know, they actually match the jack-o'-lantern. I'll do one more. Hey, Miranda from Ohio. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Halloween. So if this were dry, of course, like I said, I would get the pattern and transfer it with um transfer paper and then paint it in black and white Americana. Our friend Noreen wants to know where you found the globe. Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> and Amazon has a variety of sizes. Uh, your local craft stores will have it as have globes as well. So pick your favorite size and then you can adjust the pattern, um, you know, to a size that fits your particular globe. So the last step would be to glue the leaves to the, the top part of the base. That makes it look you know, more like a pumpkin. And then coil some wire. Um, and I also dry brush the wire with the same green. And because I always have a paintbrush handy, I just coil the wire around a paintbrush. And that is not glued on. You can simply just you know, wrap it around the top here. 
Hey Lori. Hi Miranda and Susan and Lois. Susan says she likes using a cosmetic wedge for the first coat of Extreme Sheen. Yeah, that's a really great idea and it probably gives it a really nice kind of brushed metal finish too. Um, I love that there are so many different ways to apply that product to make it look just different. Hey Kathy, thanks for tuning in and Jill, hi. Oh, they're wondering how the globe would look as an ornament. That's a really fun idea. Oh, to get a smaller one and make yeah. it, that, that's really cool. Yeah. A lot of people are doing Halloween Christmas trees. We're Halloween trees, I should say. So giant black trees and then they're decorating with orange and purple and lavender ornaments, which is really cute. Yeah. Well, awesome. I think we have a winner chosen. Vla, do you want to let us know? We do. And the lucky winner is Laura Underwood from Cook, Texas. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for commenting and congrats to Laura. Have fun shopping. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Happy Halloween.